hey guys uh, so in the previous session we have seen some of the basic uh, terminologies which is available in the networking domain and uh, in this session we are going to see some of the advanced uh, uh, terminologies which is which we are going to use so let me start up with that and we have seen this uh, in the previous video and we are going to see some of them in the uh, this video so this one is we'll start up with uh, DHCP server so DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol so uh, let me tell you something so uh, if you want to assign some IP address to a device then there is a two way of do uh, two ways to do it so first one will be you know static uh, static and second one would be dynamic you can allocate the ad IP address statically when I say statically then you're gonna have to enter the IP address manually so manually you can you know you're gonna have to configure the ip address in the pc and when it comes to uh, dynamic uh, allocation that that is the dhcp um, you are gonna mention some pool of ip address in the dhcp server so that dhcp server is going to allocate the ip address automatically from the pool of provided ip address so uh, what what is the main function of dhcp server is it will assign the IP address automatically from the pool of IP address so we will provide the pool of IP address and from that pool of IP address we are going to assign the IP address automatically so you can be able to see it in our phones devices laptops extra etc so we can be able to configure it either in static or in dynamic and coming to internet service providers so ISP uh, you name some like you know Airtel BSNL Geo so they are called as internet service providers so basically they provide the internet service and coming to subnet mask so subnet mask so in order to tell our computer what is the network and host portion of my IP address okay so we need to mention the subnet mask say example previously I have mentioned some IP address say 192.160.25.1 so this is of class C IP address so when I say class c ip address the network portion extends till this point that is 192 160 25 uh, till 25 this is a network portion and whatever remaining uh, in this area that is this is this one is a host portion okay so obviously 255 communication that is two sorry two, two uh, 255 devices can be connected to this lan network so in order to tell my computer what is the network and the host portion of my ip address i'm gonna have to give the subnet mask that is 255 255 255 so wherever i find 255 255 255 just consider that as a network portion and wherever i find zero then consider that as a host portion so that's why we're gonna have to provide a subnet mask and when it comes to ssid uh, service set identifier so whatever the wireless network name you see then that is a service site identifier so let me give you show you that see here uh, some of these are some of the you know uh, so SSIDs that is service set identifier. These are also names, you no know, wireless network name. So obviously it will uh, uh, indicate that this is a SSID that is service set identifier. And coming to the basic service set, so uh, every uh, network is gonna have some coverage area. Okay, so that wireless network coverage area is called BSS that is basic service set. Okay then coming to ESS that is extended service set that is a collection of multiple BSS so say when uh, say I'm having a, a collection of uh, BSS say two three BSS together can be called as a ESS that is extended service set coming to server PC the PC which is available on the server side is called server PC and client PC the PC which is available on the client side and when it comes to mobility moving from one bss to another bss say i'm having a two bss that is two basic service set if i have to move from one bss to another bss then that is called mobility and when it comes to roaming as you all we all are familiar with this term that is moving from one ess to another ess that is extended service set so say example i'm moving from bangalore to kolkata or bangalore to delhi or bangalore to rajasthan then that is of you know roaming moving from one extended service set to another extended service set so you guys are familiar with this one and coming to the last one that is a ad hoc that is a point to point communication say i'm having a point if you are saying a one to one communication that is a point to point okay point to point communication then that can be uh, you know represented or indicated as a ad hoc ad hoc communication 
so hope you guys uh, refreshed some of your basic terminologies in the networking and uh, and i also hope it, it is gonna help you more in the uh, you know for coming videos so hope you guys like this video and i want you to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned thank you